All right, guys, welcome back to Jason Design Shop, where this week we are going to make a sign with the router. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So, let's get started. All right, friends, look at this. We got four different kind of bits that came here uh, in the mail. Let's see, look at that. I don't know how well you can see that. Cool uh, angled router bit, all the way up to a very fine, pointy, detailed one. Uh, never used it before, never used these before, but uh, watch some videos, gonna get this going. So the first thing we gotta do is prepare our piece of cherry wood, right? Clean it up, probably run it through the planer. I uh, want it to look kind of rustic, but not too rustic. <laughs> so, first things first, Let's prepare the wood. Next step, we have to draw out the word welcome on here. Several ways of doing that. We got this all smooth and prepped. I don't think we're gonna go this far where the rot is. Hopefully we'll be able to cut that or just use that as the rough, rough end we're gonna make um, and write it in here. You can either hand do it or you can print it up with a printer, cut out the letters, put them on the wood, trace them out. Uh, if you have sticky paper, I've seen people doing that, sticking it down onto the wood and then you're routing right through the paper that's an awesome way to do it. I don't have any of that paper, so I'm gonna draw them out and uh, probably make it dark with Sharpie so I can really see it. And then I'm gonna get the router going and we'll set that up and give it a shot. All right, let's get the letters on here. All right, I just printed this up on the computer. Uh, the letters are a little small, but let's not bite off more than we can chew for our very first try. Um, you can cut them out and spray paint it, but I don't want this perfect lineup. I'm gonna want to move them around the board, spray, spread them out a little bit more. So I'm gonna cut these out and then trace them on the wood. Let's do it. Right, we got that printed and cut out. Now, step three, we're going to trace around each of those letters in the wood, and then we'll sharpie and fill those. All right, let's get started. to it, make it more rustic. All right, we got that down on there. It looks pretty cool. Welcome, you've worked a little treatments on the edge. I think it's wide enough to hold the bear as big as me there, that log right there. Those claws will come up. Okay, so now we gotta router this sucker out. So we gotta fasten it down so it doesn't move. That's why it's nice to have this extra length out here, so fasten it down. 
Um, I already put the tip in here and it's sticking out just a little bit. Let's get started. Dad, I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> Oops, here we go. Let me check that. has that much control I'm excited the bottom's interesting I need a cleaner for that oh a little bit of a divot there it's probably the worst one my first one I was learning to hold tighter all right let's uh let's do this one Well, I'm totally impressed with the way it can just back off slowly and create these lines in. That is cool. So it just slowly lifts the, the head out as I back up. That's awesome. I'll have to cut it out now with the saw. That's gonna be fun. All right, let's do the other side. Um, I need to bring it back to where I have the overhang. If it's working, why stop now? So let's throw some birds in right there over the welcome and some maybe some mountains. Thinking about a tree, but that's a little harder. See how that goes, little line drawing. I don't think I'm gonna dig anything out of that. Could do the trees, but I think it's a line drawing that's gonna be best. Yeah, the birds, that was a mistake. Too, too thin and I got it too deep of a line. I don't know what we're gonna do there. Just let it, let it ride. Okay, now let's cut it up. The jigsaw, down the bottom of those tapers. And uh, 
go to the next step. Darn, I was so close to finishing one side. I broke it. Well, using for what it was not meant to be used for, I suppose. Can we do it by hand? I have a solution, the jigsaw. Finish this sucker. What was I thinking? I should have used this the whole time. All right, and the final step, second to last step, we're gonna spray paint in those cracks and then we'll run it through the planer and it should come out all beautiful and even. Let's give it a shot. To run it through the planer and see how awesome it comes out. to sand that didn't want to come off out here if I go any deeper I think I'll, I'll lose my lines here there's not much left <laughs> but it fixed the birds by going deeper all right let's cut this off we'll be done guys looking pretty awesome finally um, a quick sand here and we'll finish it final step let's do it This is the uh, product that I'm using, Olympic Elites Wood Oil. It's the best thing I have to bring out the, the lines in the redwood that I have. You know what I realized? My mountain here needs to come down over here. <laughs> but it's behind the hands of the bear. So check it out. All right, friends, that is it for the first sign project of my life um, using the router. Pretty fun, get it out there and give it a try. If you've got those tools, it's pretty good. I'm excited to try new things and challenge myself a little more on these drawings and do more down here, more decorations, right? Um, check out the bear video to see how it looks when we put it on the bear. Catch you guys later, have a good time, bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like, so rock and roll.